How many people play games? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of adults. And I'm not talking about the Pac-Man games anyway. So, <laughs> so you know the age-old story of the future games are going to be virtual, right? Well, so I think it's a theory and only a theory. But unless we have a huge breakthrough in gaming. As technology stands currently, I don't think it will work. No. Because people won't, they don't think it will work. Not because we can't, but because people won't play it. Gamers want an immersive game with a little, as little movement as possible. And virtual gaming is not the way to go. Many games have tried to use this idea of body moving games. These are seen on the Wii, the PlayStation Move, and the Xbox Connect. All ideas are good, and all ideas are partially the same. They're trying to get you to feel like you're in the game, that you control the game with your body. But these ideas are not as successful as the good old joystick and the dual stick controllers that most systems and games use still today. But people want immersion without losing your breath and getting all sweaty. Let me tell you guys this, we humans don't like to move a lot. Especially when we're trying to enjoy ourselves. So a control is the right way to go, right? So how can we make a gaming more immersive without the physical properties? <laughs> Just look on back how we did it back then, okay? Remember back then, and no, I don't mean Pac-Man. I mean when the Xbox and PlayStation 2 were becoming popular. Think back when the games you play look so real to you. But now if you look back on, back on them today, they look terrible. We made games better by making the graphics better and the mechanics better. It gave us a better experience in an immersive game. This is possible with our new understanding on chips and computers to add more memory and data in our systems. They also give us an immersive gaming experience by putting vibrators in our controllers to give you the effect of feeling what you see on the screen, and 3D TVs, which also allows the characters and game elements to be artificially in your world. We all noticed this once in our gaming experience. But the immersion doesn't end there. Games like Destiny, Skyrim, and other free roam games create a whole other experience because these games have focused on the economies and adventures instead of doing a mission and you're done. They have added a way where you can do side missions, meet other people, and instead of doing a mission to beat the game, you can find your own way to beat the game and level up, therefore adding an aspect of realism by getting you to choose your own path and experience. I believe that gaming communities will continue to add on these life experience and aspects. In games, they forget about the physical aspects affecting what happens on the screen. I think that they will find a way to create a way better game than we have ever imagined with all the aspects of life, and this will be done with graphics, sounds, mechanics, and the art of human creativity.